Welcome to Art Fun with Mrs. Lombardo. Today we're going to be drawing some Dr. Seuss style birds. They are whimsical and colorful, just like his storybooks. I know you're gonna have a lot of fun today. So let's get started. Don't forget to pause if you need more time. To make a Dr. Seuss style bird, first we're going to come a couple inches from the top and make the eye a small circle. Then put a little letter U inside of that circle. And then a little U at the top so it looks like it's indented and color it black. Then we're going to put little feathers all the way around the eye. Kind of looks like a sun. Next, we're going to add the beak. So I know I need to come out and back around. So here we go. Stop about there. And I'm gonna give him a cheek, a little smiley cheek there. And then here, we're going to put the mouth. It's going to start at the beak and come back. There we go. So here is our bird's eye and his beak. Now we need to do feathers all the way around the top of his head. So let's start here at the top. Put a tall feather at the very tip top, and one at each side. And let's do a few more here. And now we're gonna come around and stop back here at the back of his chin. Right about there. All right, now these are the feathers going around the top of his head. And in the middle of those, we can add a few more small feathers. Just a little V shape upside down and close it off. And you can do that around its head a few times. You can add some little motion lines or little tiny feather lines going around. And that will help fill in the top of the head. Now we're going to make the neck. So starting right here, we're going to come down a skinny little neck and a little curve to close it off. And we're going to make feathers go around the neck. So it's just a little zigzag line all the way around. Now, we could leave it like this and add the body, but Dr. Seuss tends to make his birds have very long necks with extra feathers. It kind of makes them a little more interesting. So let's do that. Add another piece of the neck and a curve and some more zigzag lines. Let's do it one more time. Little piece of the neck continued, a curve line, and some more zigzag lines. Now we're going to add the body. So here, let's do the front and the back of the body, two curved lines, and then a zigzag line, more feathers, underneath, and then we're gonna come out a little bit more, another section of the body, and some zigzag lines. There we go. Right here, we can add a wing. Make a curved line, and some little zigzags that look kind of like fingers or the edge of the wing. Now our bird needs a couple of legs coming down. So first, we're gonna make a little curved line and then another one behind it. Here are the toes and they go back and a heel. 
Now we have to double this up because our bird has more than one leg. So let's do another curved line right here. Curve a little bit further than the first foot and back. Now he has two legs. And there is our first Dr. Seuss style bird. To make our next Dr. Seuss style bird, I'm going to draw two eyes, but this time they're going to be closed. So two letter U shapes. Zoom in on that for you a little bit so it's easier to see. And eyelashes. Eyelashes should be at the bottom because his eyes are closed. Two little U shapes upside down for his eyebrows. And then we're going to make the beak. The beak's going to be long, come out and back. So here we go, out and back. Make a little U shape for the cheek and let's do the bottom of the beak. It's gonna start right about here and come back. There is our bird's beak and his eyes closed. Now let's make the top of his head. So first, I'm going to put the front of his face right here, the little line. And the rest of his head is going to have feathers. So we need a zigzaggy line around the top of his head and the back of his head. So here we go. Stop about there. And then some little skinny feathers up off at the top of his head. There's one. Here's a curvy line up. And then double it back down. Do it a few times. Up and back down. Up and down. There we go. Have some feathers on the top of his head. Now let's make his neck. We want to come down and we want it to be a little skinny and a little U shape right here at the bottom of the neck. Now the feathers are going to come out and around. So it's just a zigzag line all the way around. Let's add another little section of his neck. Kind of look at where the line started and continue it down underneath a curve and a zigzag again. There we go. Now our bird needs a big belly and we need to leave room for legs. So when we do this, you can make a round circle. You could do that with your pencil first to make it a little easier and then go over it with the zigzags if you like, or just do a circular shape here with zigzags all the way around. So here's mine, zigzag. I need to go around in a circle. Come back up here if it's easier. There we go. That gives him a nice circular body with the zigzag line all the way around. Now to make this bird's legs, he's gonna be walking. So we want the first leg to come forward and double that up, move back a little, double it up. And then here is the top of the foot. And let's give him some toes and come back for the back of the foot. This leg, since he's walking, is gonna be behind him a little bit. So angle back, double that up. Do the front of his foot and his toes and then back for the back of the foot. Okay, now it looks like he's walking. You can add some little lines on his legs if you like. Now he needs a wing here and a wing here. But we want him to kind of look like an arm also. So I'm going to first come forward. Double that up. And then add some zigzaggy feathers that could also be fingers. And then one behind him and then double it and zigzag so it looks like fingers. 
And since the bird is walking this direction, we're gonna add a little zigzag line here on his stomach. And then maybe one here on his front to give him some shape and dimension. Now let's add some bright colors to our whimsical Dr. Seuss birds. Thank you for visiting Art Fun with Mrs. Lombardo. Remember to do a little bit of art every day and share what you've learned with someone you love.